Hey guys, what's up? So, Apple Test Stop here. Um, today, we're showing you guys the top best straight tees for iOS 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first tweet we have is called Nogat. It's Android NC for iOS. So, it's basically Android Notification Center for iOS. So, you can see that's how it looks. You have that Android Notification Center on your iOS device. So, if you like it's like, you know, if you have an Android user, uh, you just like that Android Notification, notification Center better, you know, than an iOS Notification Center, then this is the perfect tweak for you. So, you can see. Uh, I don't know why it's so big, but yeah. Even like your notifications, like it's all Android style. This piece called Kai or K. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, <laughs> but it's all your batteries at a glance. It shows any Bluetooth device that uh, provides battery information. You can uh, check the battery of your phone, your watch, AirPods, AirPods, um, case, all from your lock screen. Quick and easy. Next week's card, Kiera, Cora, um, and basically what this week is iOS 14's indicator dots for iOS 12 and 13. So depending on the color of the dot on the top, it tells you what is being used. So if you're having an app that does not use a camera, but you see that it's green, which means it's camera in use, then you obviously know that they're spying on you or something's weird is going on because they wouldn't be, you know, um, what, have you, they wouldn't have your camera on if it doesn't use the camera. That's, that's, that's definitely something to be concerned about. So it's it's a privacy thing, definitely. It's a good uh, you know tweak if you need your if you like, like if you really care about your privacy. So obviously this one is yellow or orange. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's orange, which means that your um, audio is being used. So uh, microphone use. So obviously because you're using voice memos, it needs the you know you got you talk into it. And this is obviously your GPS blue because you know it's the compass. So GPS. The next tweak is called Share Me. Uh, it's a little new little tweet that allows you to generate report history from the iVice is standard messages app. Yeah. Next tweet is called Lib Arrays. Libby Arrays should be only used by iArrays products. Closed library and no supports provided for this package. Next tweet is called Heartlines. And I know it's something trouble in Heartlines. It brings a new lovely design to your last screen clock. The next tweet is called Central. And this week's called Central, uh, since there's a last row of icons on your home screen. Next week's called LS Contact, Contest Bar, right from your last screen. Next week's called Color Banners 3, 5 13, customize your notifications look. So this supports iOS 13 and 14 only, 5 is 10, 12.4. Uh, you can use that Color Banners 2 package tweak. The next week's called Manila. Manila supports iOS 9 to 14.3, makes it easier to launch apps inside folders. The next week's called Color Badges Package. It's compatible with iOS 7.0 to 14.3, colorize your badges. And colorize folders, I believe, as well. The next week's called Home Plus Beta. The next week's called Home Plus Beta, uh, dynamic live home screen layout with intuitive UI. This week's called Safari Search Hider. Hide certain searches from your history in Safari. Next week's called Loon. Um, it let a moon icon appear while do not disturb is enabled. This week is called YouTube, Re uh, YouTube Reborn. It's a YouTube customizer tweak. So um, it's basically like a YouTube plus plus alternative. This week's called Butterfly Effect. Make your background less boring by adding butterflies. This week is called Emoji Attributes, uh, various under the hood fixes for emoji display. My favorite tweak, it's got releases called CarPlay Enable, you can use any app with CarPlay. This week is called Yellow Cellular Icon, uh, Yellow Cellular Icon in the status bar. This week is called Super Recorder X Plus, this supports iOS 12, 13, and 14. So you can record any phone call or voice change any audio device without using an external service. So it works on these apps right here. Like, you know, you can do, you know, your phone app, you're making a phone call, uh, via IP calls, Viber, Skype, FaceTime, Line, YouTube, WhatsApp, etc. So you can play, delete, record, you know, the voice changes and you can change your, you know, voice to like Dalek voice changer. Um, you have a volume amplifier and much more. So it's like you're all, you know, everything in one tweak. Um, just realize that if you do, you know, record someone's voice without their notice, you could get in trouble depending on the county you are in or country. So just make sure, you know, there's a, a setting you can play 20, every 20 seconds, it beeps, let them know that they are being recorded. Um, so like I said, just make sure you guys, you know, comply and follow your laws in your state or in your area or your county. And, you know, me or the developer cannot get any trouble. We're just telling you guys about this tweak, but we're not, we're not telling you to use it illegally. So definitely follow your laws and, you know. Be responsible when using this tweet, guys. Just you know, just comply with your laws. That's it. 
the next piece called download bar uh, 13 or 14 should take progress bar for downloading apps instead. So there's one called download bar 14. It's the iOS 14 version. And the last tweak is called tap tap tip tap time. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Saying that a couple times fast. Um, oof. Okay. So with this tweak, adds a tap gesture to the time in the status bar. Tap to see the date. Tap again to, uh, to go back to the time. So pretty cool. Uh, you have a configura configurable options, date separator, show year, show months before day, or vice versa, show AM or PM, 24 hour time, and enable disable switch. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Catch you next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.